use a split screen mode for is to compare the left side and the right side of the transverse abdominis. So again, if we're here on uh, Ben's left transverse abdominis, we can just hit the VB button, and that's going to give us a snapshot of his left, and just make sure everything's nice and relaxed. It can be quite useful to wait to the end of an exhalation to take your picture if you want to make sure everything standardised. Then we're going to come to the right side again, just flipping the probe around so that that point stays in the midline. So we're going to get exactly the same image. Okay, and just breathe here and now. And we freeze it there and look. In this mode, we can again measure the difference in the distance between the, uh, or the thickness rather of the transverse abdominis, internal oblique and external oblique. And I think here we can see that on Ben's left, it's a little bit thicker appearing in this image, but we can actually measure that again. Let's work out distance here. Set here to here. And the other thing I'm noticing as well is that the internal oblique also looks a little bit thicker on that side. So we're setting that there, and then we're going to set middle of the muscle belly on the other side and it's significantly different. So 5.47 millimetres compared to 4.1 millimetres on the right hand side. And sometimes you see that with people who have a lot of one-sided problems. So then for example might have right-sided lower back pain and we see that the right-sided core muscles of the transverse abdominis are either not as um, good looking from the muscle point of view or perhaps they're not as thick or perhaps they don't have as good activation patterns when we try and get them to do an active contraction of those muscles. I think that's enough for that. Um, Alright, any... that's 